Did you know that the longest running animated TV series first aired in 1969 and is still going strong today with over 7,500 episodes? It currently holds the Guinness World Record for longest running animated TV series. It's like Japan's animated answer to The Simpsons, but even longer. This show is called Sazi San. You see, once upon a time in a land of samurai, sushi, and futuristic vending machines that sell anything from hot coffee to living lobsters. A new kind of storytelling was born, something that would capture imaginations not only in Japan but across the entire globe. This magical creation was called anime. Now, if you've ever found yourself watching a guy with hair that looks like it's in a permanent wind tunnel, yelling for five episodes just to finally land a single punch, you've already dipped your toes into this wild, colourful and often eccentric world. But where did it all begin? And what makes anime so different from, say, Bugs Bunny trying to outwit Elmer Fudd? Let's rewind the clock to the early 20th century, while Western animation was bouncing along with characters like Mickey Mouse and Betty Boop. Japan was quietly brewing something entirely its own. Japanese artists had been dabbling in animation, inspired by Western styles, but something was missing. Then, in the 1960s, a bespectacled genius named Osamu Tezuka changed the game. Tezuka, often called the god of manga, had a vision. He wasn't content with making just another cartoon. He wanted to tell stories that were deep, emotional, and packed with meaning. His solution? Astro Boy, or in Japanese, Tetsuan Adam. A lovable robot with a heart that was as much about existential musings on humanity as it was about cool robot fights. Tezuka's style featured large, expressive eyes, a visual signature that would become a hallmark of anime. And thanks to budget constraints, he created what would become the limited animation style. Even more interesting is he gained the attention of the famous director Stanley Kubrick in 1965. He turned down an offer from Stanley to be his art director for the film. 2001, a space odyssey, but that's a story for another video. What made anime stand out wasn't just its animation technique, but its depth. Western cartoons were often fun and wacky, with characters chasing each other around and dropping anvils. Anime, it tackled heavy themes. War, love, loss, identity, and often within a single episode. It was like watching a soap opera, philosophy lecture, an action blockbuster rolled into one. That mix of serious storytelling with fantastical elements was a fresh take that pulled in viewers. Fast forward to the 1970s and things were getting bigger, literally. Enter Mecha Anime. Shows like Mobile Suit Gundam introduced gigantic robots battling it out in space, but it wasn't just about the explosions. Oh no. These shows were delving into the morality of war, the cost of peace, and other deep philosophical issues. Essentially, it was like having a childhood dream of watching robots fight come true, but with a side of what is the meaning of life. The beauty of anime is that it doesn't underestimate its audience. It knows you can handle a hefty moral quandary along with your space lasers. Anime's popularity soared in Japan, and soon it was impossible to ignore on the international stage. By the 1980s, films like Akira, a visual masterpiece set in a dystopian Tokyo, were making waves outside Japan. Akira wasn't your average cartoon. It was violent, surreal and mind-bending. And it showed the world that anime could be serious art. It blew people's minds because up until then, the world had never seen animation used to tell such complex adult stories. Meanwhile, Hayao Miyazaki's Studio Ghibli was crafting breathtaking films like My Neighbor Totoro and Princess Mononoke which blended lush, magical worlds with environmental themes and tender human moments. Now, let's talk style. Anime doesn't shy away from exaggeration. Those massive eyes, they're not just for show, they're windows into the soul, helping characters express emotions in ways that feel more human than human. Anime plays with reality, stretching it in impossible directions. Characters can cry waterfalls, defy the laws of physics, or deliver monologues that would take up the entire length of a normal TV show, all while making it look effortless. And then there's the colour palette. Whether it's the neon glow of a cyberpunk city or the soft pastels of a countryside, anime doesn't just show you a world, it immerses you in it. Anime also knows how to balance the serious with the silly. One moment you're pondering the nature of existence, and the next, a character is getting chased by a giant panda dressed as a maid. In Dragon Ball Z, a fight can last for episodes, but that just builds the hype. Watching Goku charge up a spirit bomb for what feels like an eternity is half the fun. And let's not forget the amount of hair transformations he's had. Talk about a salon bill. 
is that blend of intensity and absurdity that makes anime so, well, anime. This all leads to the question, why is anime so popular? It's because anime offers something for everyone. You want heart-pounding action? Try Attack on Titan, where humanity fights for survival against terrifying giants. Feel like crying your eyes out. Watch your lie in April or Clannad. Don't forget tissues. Fancy a story about a boy and his dream to become the greatest ninja pirate or, or food war champion? Check out Naruto, One Piece, or Food Wars. Anime covers all the bases, action, romance, drama, horror, slice of life life, and sometimes all of the above in one episode. Anime's appeal across the world can also be chalked up to its universal themes. Yes, it's deeply rooted in Japanese culture with references to Shinto beliefs, historical events, and societal norms. But its core is human emotion. Whether it's the coming-of-age story of a boy learning to be a hero, or the quiet, poignant moments of friendship, anime speaks to the struggles and joys of life that we all experience, no matter where we're from. And let's not forget the fandom. Anime fans are passionate. Whether they're debating which character has the best power-up or perfecting their Naruto run, you know, the one that defies all laws of physics but looks cool, Anime lovers take their love of the medium to the next level. Conventions filled with cosplay, fan art, fan fiction, and more have made anime a global cultural phenomenon. Not to mention, streaming services have made anime more accessible than ever. No longer are fans swapping VHS tapes in the back of comic book shops. Now they've got entire libraries of anime at their fingertips. In the end, anime is more than just an art form or entertainment. It's an experience, a community, and for many, a way of life. It's where imagination knows no bounds and where even the most mundane of scenarios can turn into an epic adventure. So, next time you sit down to watch a giant robot battle or a high school romance with a supernatural twist, remember, you're not just watching a show. You're stepping into a world where anything is possible. And if a character starts glowing and their hair changes color, just go with it. It's all part of the magic that is 